guys, this is Mike here. Uh, we are going to go through the steps on how to flash Pixel Experience ROM to the Robin itself. So first of all, what we need to do is to ensure that we enable um, developer options. So normally what we'll do is go to about phone. Then you tap on the build number for seven times. Then you need to clean your pin if there's any pin. Okay, so now you have enabled developer settings, right? So, um, what we are do next is basically to uh, make sure we enable Android debugging. Uh, Android debugging, and actually uh, what you want to do is to disable screen lock. Uh, just in case anything happens, I re usually do that when... When I was actually flashing stuff so that they won't have any encryption issues happening and stuff right uh, let me see where is that uh, so screen log you change it to uh, none remove okay so once you have removed your screen log then you can go to your developers option advanced uh, developer options and go to enable us OEM unlocking is there so because this is really unlocked, so if you your phone haven't been unlocked yet, you'll need to actually enable this as well as uh, Android debugging to ensure that it's uh, ready for connectivity. So once you have that ready, you can actually plug in the uh, plug in the cable from the computer to your device or to the Robin itself so that they can get connected to the itself so normally when you when you plug in they will actually prompt you this message if you take a look at it so what you need to do is always allow it and press on ok so once that is done you can move on your computer for the rest of the setup okay so what do we do now after we get uh, you can launch minimal ADV and fast boot uh, so normally I'll leave a link down below where you can install this so what we normally do is to do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected so as you can see, uh, uh, we haven't put into fast boot, sorry. So we should actually do an ADB devices to ensure device is connected. So as you can see, it's connected now. So we do an ADB reboot, boot loader. So that will bring you to the fast boot mode so that you can actually do flashing on this uh, particular thing itself. So now we can do a fast boot devices to ensure device is connected. So as you can see now, Fastboot is connected. So you make sure that you have download. So what we're going to do now is to install Pixel Experience ROM, uh, the official version. Um, it's known that the Vo, Vo LTE is not working. So due to the broken IMS and stuff. So ultimately, if you're using uh, Voice Vo LTE, um, it's recommended that you don't flash this ROM. But if you're not using it, it's fine. Everything else works okay. So this is a Pixel Experience ROM, so no GAPS is needed because it's already included. So what you need to do is just move this file into the, um, into the uh, what do you call it, phone itself, so that you can actually do the flashing via TWRP recovery. So what I'm going through now is that since you're in fast boot mode, uh, if you don't have a, a bootloader unlocked, then you should do a fast boot OEM unlock to unlock your phone itself so when you do that because my phone is already locked so uh, I don't need to do it again but for those that need to do it when you do an unlock you will need to go to the phone and uh, select OK then they will actually do a factory reset on your phone and you get rebooted back and you need to actually cycle through the process again to get back into this screen right so once you're done with unlocking you can do a fast boot uh, you know that you already have now you need to flash custom recovery which fast boot uh, flash recovery. Ah uh, no, we need to navigate to the uh, D maybe. Ah uh, no, it's not D. It's F. Uh, CD. Next bit. Uh, you navigate to the folder that you store all your files. So basically, if you look, look at this, is all the files that I have. So what you normally do is to flash recovery. So it's TWRP. Ah uh, no, you're only gonna do a fast boot. Flash recovery. EWRP. We are flashing the latest one, which is 
0.10 ether, right? So all you do is just press enter. They will flash the recovery in. So what you are, when you are done with that, there's two options. Either you can reboot it or you can just put into recovery and do whatever stuff you want to do first. So what we normally do is that I do not want to reboot the phone. So what I do is do a fast boot. Boot TWRP 3.3.10 ether so once you do that uh, your phone will be booted into recovery then uh, let's just wait for that to happen okay so when you are in recovery mode um, so what you need normally this is the first screen you're going to see so what you need to do is to swipe to allow modification and you reach the TWRP screen so what we need to do next is to push the uh, file over here so that we can flash it so let's just move on to the PC okay so once you have actually flashed into um, recovery so uh, I mean like booted into recovery so what you should do now is to push the file into the recovery so first of all we need to see whether we are connected by ADB so we do ADB devices let's just go back here ADB devices and you should see that you are connected via recovery right so what you need to do now is to push the pixel experience file so ADB push pixel experience uh, to slash SD card so that this will push the file into the phone itself so let's just wait for the push to finish okay so once the push has completed so what the, all the other remaining process will be on the phone so we'll just get for the phone over to the phone for the rest of the setup as you can see now we are in um, TWRP so normally what we'll do is do a wipe advanced wipe so basically uh, you just don't care about it you know, just do a factory reset uh, normally they won't clear the internal storage so what you need to do is just to swipe to do a factory reset to make sure that everything goes back to normal when you do then you can do an install search for the file which is the pixel experience then just click on it and just swipe to confirm flash so what we need to do next is just to wait for the flashing process to complete okay it seems like the process is completed so what we normally will do is just do a, a cache and delve cache then we'll just do a reboot system. You can check, do not install. Then yeah, we are done. We'll just wait for the thing to boot up. As you can see now, there is a message here. So if you unlock boot loader, you will have uh, this message here. So you just need to wait for the uh, device to continue booting. So let's just wait it out. hey guys okay finally it get rebooted it took quite a while actually so you can just do a start uh, just skip this without sim now you can skip the wi-fi for now continue then uh, just next the time you can adjust it later let's just see all this uh, uh, okay just go ahead uh, right uh, skip this for now not now anyway so there you go you're running on pixel looks uh, kind of like um, thing so what can we do here so we have a the only problem is that pixel expand I do not know whether we have download any ball so um, Display device team automatic please. And, uh, if I can put dark. So yeah, you do have dark. And uh, if I want gesture, so if I want the gesture based navigation, swipe up the home button. I got it as well. So yeah. So there you go. We have all this stuff in dark mode. And this one is in dark mode as well. So yeah, there you go. That's how you install Pixel Experience ROM to your Nextbit Robin. As I've said, um, if you don't need voice over LTE, I think you can actually flash this ROM. It's uh, looks pretty good. 
uh, it's not like slow or anything and uh, surprisingly Android 9 support is still there for this uh, aging next bit problem phone and I'm glad that it has so if you need a backup phone this is a pretty good one that you can use and try out and see how that goes so that's all for today guys if you like the video I'm doing please subscribe to my channel and uh, ding the no notification bell for any future updates I'll see you again soon bye